Ragboy from Wake 9 here. Now since last season we've been talking and working and planning to pull the West Coast open for this year with just one boat. Now obviously we want to do that because we want to show off that our Taiga can make a great wake on both sides um, and, and good enough to for competition level. But that really wasn't the main reason. The main reason was because it's a lot easier to set up cameras and transmitters on one boat and it gives us the ability to use multiple channels on one boat instead of multiple channels across two boats. Because with too many channels, you have bleed over and other problems that, that, that occur. So we wanted to really have some fun with this and get multiple angles and so forth. So I want to show you how we set it up. So you can see on the back of the boat here, we have GoPro Hero 2s um, attached using adhesive, the GoPro mounts. And you can see that the wires that go to feed power and video are going through the cup holders. So all only the only um, holes we had to drill through the bottom of the cup holders. And you can see the, the wires going here. So we have uh, battery packs that power our GoPro cameras for about 20 hours or so. So uh, more and uh, plenty left to spare after a full day of shooting. So we don't have to route power to the actual battery. But here's where it gets really cool. The Taiga touchscreen has video inputs. Um, and if you click the video one here, you'll see that that was our regular side. And then you can click on video two and that's our goofy side. Now what made that so cool is that the driver was actually able to monitor the angle and the frame of, um, of the shot, make sure we're recording. It just made things uh, so much easier and so much more fun. Now you can see how we have the antennas attached to the top of the tower and you can see our tower camera also transmitting from the top at all times. And here's a better look from the back. You can see the GoPro cameras attached and then a little off topic here, you can see our roving camera, another camera that's transmitting um, at all times. And here it is catching uh, the podium shots, uh, Lee videotaping. And then here's me at uh, what we called Houston, where I was um, managing and switching everything as we went along. So let's take a look at our buddy Sean riding on Sunday. And you can see that we have the wake set up regular and we set it up mellower, um, not as steep, we kind of call that skim style and we did that not just by setting the task, we also adjusted the weight a little bit when the skim riders went up. Now in order to go from side to side in just a couple of minutes and also to adjust weighting for a different, you know, whether you're in surf style or, or skim style, you know, to the preference of the riders, we had to be able to move weighting to exact specifications quickly. And the way we did that was by installing digital scales in the rear lockers. Um, and the scales are underneath the sacks and it measures the column of weight above the scale. It doesn't measure all the weight in the sack, just what's above it. And if you can look here side by side, well, you can see with Keenan on the left and Sean on the right, that we were able to go back and forth from side to side extremely fast. Um, and we did it usually in two to three minutes. Usually the boat driver and the guys in the boat had switched from side to side before we were even finished getting the pontoon um, all ready and set to them. Um, now Saturday they took a little slower, but by Sunday they had it down and those scales made a huge difference. So it's a great tip if it's um, a way for you to, to help measure what you're doing out there.